Hey guys, James again for TFB TV, and today I'm excited to talk to you about the CAR CW380, which is one of my most favorite carry guns. Uh, I feel like you guys have seen a lot of videos of me saying this is my most favorite concealed carry gun, this is my most favorite concealed carry gun. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of favorites, but <laughs> this one I really do carry. This is probably the smallest 380 out there on the market today. You've got guns like the kel P380, which I also love, and I actually have several of, but I look at the CAR CW380 and it's just a better gun. The slide holds open in the last shot. The trigger is actually excellent. It's a nice striker-fired gun. It's got a little bit of take up at the outset, but then it's got a nice smooth trigger pull and a crisp break. It's got a just a little bit of over travel but that said compared to the kel this thing shoots like a match gun it's got very pronounced slide serrations that make it easy to grip and rack the sights are excellent on this gun again comparing it to something like the kel where you only have a couple of little nubs that act as sights that are blacked out here you have full contrast dot bar sights again it's as small or smaller as the p380 in fact i've got a p380 right here and you guys may be able to see that i mean it it looks to me almost as if the the car is a little bit shorter than the p380 because the p380 has the hump in the back to use as a fulcrum for the hammer. They're about the same thickness, they have the same capacity, that is six plus one. Now, on a good day, you can find the P380 for about $200. On a good day, you can find the CAR CW380 for about $240. For me, the $40 price difference makes the CAR a no-brainer. It's just as reliable, it's more accurate, it's got a better trigger, it's a better made gun and you're only paying about an extra $40. Now in the grand scheme of things, that's also a 20% premium, 240 versus 200, but still, it's only 40 bucks. To me, totally worth the upgrade. Now some of you may be familiar with the CAR P380 and not the CW380. The C designates that this is part of CAR's kind of economy line. I don't want to use the term economy line because it sounds like you're cheapening the gun when in fact you're really only trading off a few features between the CAR P series and the C series. The C series has a metal injection molded instead of a CNC forged slide stop. Not only is that not really a big deal, but if it bothers you that much, you could probably just buy for a pittance an upgraded CNC forged slide stop. Not a big deal. A standard lands and grooves rifled barrel instead of the polygonal rifle barrel of the P-Series. Again, we're talking about a teensy little barrel on a deep carry gun. I really don't think that's gonna make a difference in terms of performance or aging of the barrel wear, wear and tear. The cars got stamped instead of laser engraved roll marks on the side. That doesn't bother me in the least. I actually like the simplicity of the stamped roll mark on the side. Anyways, I'll go over the specs with you real quick and then I'll take this into the range and I'll show you why I love it so much. The CAR CW380 is 4.9 inches long. The Ruger LCP is 5.2 inches long. And here's something I want you guys to pay attention to. Six inches long for the Glock 42. Now you're gonna see a theme. The car is 3.9 inches tall. The LCP, 3.6 inches tall. The Glock 42, 4.1 inches tall. Now let's talk about width. The car, 0.75 inches thick. The LCP, one of the thinnest guns out there, very thin, 0.82 inches. The Glock 42, 0.94 inches, almost an inch thick. In fact, it's 0.04 inches thicker than the CAR PM9, which is a nine millimeter. The CAR CW380 only weighs 10.2 ounces unloaded. The LCP, 9.4 ounces. The Glock 42, 14 ounces. Unreal. That is, 14 ounces is the same weight as the CAR PM9. Again, single stack nine millimeter versus a 380. So to me, that's really why the CAR CW380 stands out. Not only do I think it has better features and a better trigger than its closest competition like the LCP, 
but it's one of the smallest guns out there and you can see by the numbers it totally smokes the Glock 42. Now the LCP is an extremely popular option but the LCP's trigger as far as I'm concerned is not remotely close to the car and I just don't know what the Ruger brings to the table over the car. I mean they're the same size, same capacity, same everything but uh, the, you just get so much more gun I feel like with the car versus the LCP, which is still a great gun in its own right. I mean, there's a string of six rounds and virtually no recoil, no rise. Very controllable gun. But let me tell you about the one drawback of the CW380. The CW380, the matte stainless finish, is not going to be as corrosion resistant as, say, the Glock 42. It's definitely more corrosion resistant than the uh, Kel-Tec, the P380. Uh, if, if you sweat on the P380, you don't wipe it off, you might get some rust on there, even with the Parkerized models. So it, it's rust resistant, but certainly not rust proof, which I would almost say the Glock 42 is. Now that said, I've heard their plans to relaunch the CW380 with CARS DLC, diamond light coating which will make it a lot more corrosion resistant. I like the CW380, it's small, it shoots pretty well, but what's the point if it won't shoot hollow points? No pun intended. I've got Ventura Tactical from Ventura Munitions, 95 grain, hollow point, 380 ACP. Let's try this, see how it does. I strongly recommend that you guys run hollow point ammo in your carry gun. Not only while you carry it, but before you carry it, just to make sure that it's going to be 100% reliable with the hollow point ammunition that you choose to carry. Now remember guys, because of the offset feed ramp, you get a little bit more barrel, but you also don't get a lot of runway to cycle the action. So they recommend that you cycle the first round mechanically. Lock the slide back, use the slide release to get that first round chambered. God, it's astounding how well this thing shoots. All right, I've been punishing this little guy, so this will be the last mag for the day. Yep, pretty good. So guys, in conclusion, I think that the car CW380 is probably one of the best values that you can find on the market today, especially now that since I started recording this video like a year ago, so I've been using this gun for like a year. You're seeing like a year long review, especially now they're introducing these with different finishes and different frame colors, and it's really neat. They've really expanded the line since I started doing this review. In my opinion, this is the best value you can get for a 380. Right now, the LCPs and the P380s are actually around 200 bucks, dipping below that, and I've seen these under the $250 mark. I think the CW380 is well beyond what you can get from an LCP or a P380 or the, I believe it's the uh, Beretta, the Nano or the Pico, whichever the 380 is, uh, which I wasn't terribly impressed with. Now, on the other hand, the Glock 42 is fantastic, but the Glock 42 is much larger than the CW380. It's almost the same size, if not the same size, as the car PM9 and CM9. So you could get a nine millimeter uh, for the same size as the Glock 42. So that's why, notwithstanding the fact that I am a huge Glock fan, I think the car CW380 is the best in the class as we sit here today. So in any event, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you next week.